Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> I'm doing another video on this chassis protector install, just on mine. Um, and I just want to kind of go over this really quick. Th this video is going to be short, but this should only take you, you know, a less than a minute to put on the reposition. Okay? You don't have to take any, your chassis apart. You don't have to do any of that. What you want to do is just clean off your chassis. Just, you know, clean it up with some uh, alcohol or just wa plain water. Don't use Windex or anything like that. Um, but just, you know, make sure it's lint-free, dust-free, and dry. And that's it. So, like I said, you don't need your whole uh, chassis off or a uh, part. I've been in the sign business for, you know, 25 years. We never, and I mean like ever, try to do anything with water, anything with liquid to install vinyl. Because you ruin the life of the adhesion. You're going to get peeling. You're going to get a lot of things. Does it matter with these cars? No, because it's probably not going to be on there that long. You know, so that's just, you know, the way it is. But you shouldn't, this shouldn't be an ordeal to put on. You should just pull out your car, clean the chassis, throw this on. I designed this to go on without removing the chassis. So let me explain the chassis, the decal itself. So the decal is made of four mil thick. Okay. That's a, that's a kind of a standard three to four mil standard in industry for vinyl printing for stickers. This laminate that's on top is 12 mil thick. That's thick. That's what you see on like a lot of the eighth and 10th scale, uh, racing truck truggies and buggies that's what you see it's really thick and as you can see it's not real flimsy it doesn't you know it's conformable because this is professional stuff this is what the pros use this is this is not you know some generic lamb um it's conformable so go right into the install so i would before i would because i sell with two chassis protectors before i would even install just make sure you do your upgrades your servo and whatever else you need to have access to take those screws out if you you could you could i don't put the holes i'll tell you why i don't put the holes in the chassis anymore we did it at first and people were saying that the um, stuff was sticking to them on the carpet and that's just normal because that's how it was before when we had our 12 else uh, racing um so we stopped putting the holes on there because they would snag or it would just pick up dirt from the uh, track. So like that. Plus, your your screw holes are exposed. Then you're going to get a lot of junk in there, and then they fill up with whatever. So anyways, this is how long it should take you to do after you clean it. You literally will just line up. I'll do it like this. You literally just line up the back, and you, you, you don't need to use water. It'll just take you forever to dry. All you do is line, get that back part lined up pretty well. I'm trying to get it I mean, I'm looking at the camera at the same time stick the back part back part like that and you could you could reposition it as you need it so look I put it down it's not gonna rip when you reposition this is really thick when I tell you this is really thick and it sticks so if you just need to reposition it reposition it like that I mean that's and then push down the middle like this push the front push the sides just work your way out just work your way out and what I like to do too sometimes is just push it down if you got the chassis off. If it's on the car, just continue to use your fingers to heat it in. Wait like 10, 15 minutes. You can use a heat gun or a hair dryer just to give it a quick heat up. But if it's in, if you're out in the sun or something like that too, you're fine. But this is this is what the professionals use, guys. This laminate. This isn't uh, you know, Johnny Homemaker type stuff. This is all done on high uh, large format printers and the uh, the clear lamina is 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 bought from a professional motorcycle uh, and body panel site. This is not, you know, it's not junk or homemade stuff. It's made for helmets, made for body panels, off road vehicles, snowmobiles. You, you're not going to scratch it. Like I said, this is 12 mil thick laminate. Laminate. So total is like 16. Standard in the eighth, tenth industry is 16 to 18. If you're not that thick, you know, you're, you're, it'll still work because these are small vehicles, but you're not going to rip or tear this thing. So, but that's it. Now, look, I already got it installed and it's been a couple minutes here. If you need to reposition it again, just peel it off carefully like this. Look, now the way these, these stickers work, these chassis protectors, the longer it's on, the more it's going to adhere to the surface. So you got time to reposition it. You don't need water. If you put water on this, you're not going to be able to use this thing for a half hour to an hour because that's how long it's going to take for this water to dry. This adhesion on this sticker right here is not really made for water. Certain stuff, you just don't want to use liquids to apply it. So you saw me do that without it. That's it. You line up the back pieces because it's cut almost the right to the spot, and then you just reposition it how you, how you need it. It'll conform to how you need it. And um, that's it. 
Okay, guys, this is simple. Don't make this a rocket science. You know, you're, you're putting on your chest protector. It looks good. You put it on right. You can reposition it, you know. Um, the longer it's on, the longer it's going to adhere good. That's why I got two. If you do have some major change you want to take it off, just take it off and put a new one on. Don't reuse it, you know. Um, but if you want to take it off, you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. Heat it up. That'll help That'll help get it off easier. Um, sometimes the heat's the adhesive will stay on there if, if you don't but um you know they're so cheap you just get two of them you just take it off put a new one on so but that's the uh chassis protector install guys don't make a big deal about putting these on you don't need 20 tools you don't need liquid um you need a minute of your time and you don't have to remove the chassis and like i said these are 16 mil thick total with a beautiful clear laminate the prints high resolution 1400 4800 it's really high I could do all, any custom design that you have, uh, photos, whatever. Um, I have, you know, some of my designs that you've already seen. So um, links are in the description if you want to buy them. Um, but definitely use them if you've got the 40th anniversary. So you keep that chassis nice, scratch-free. And uh, that's it. That's my chassis install from uh, Team Broke RC and RC10 Parts, guys, on eBay. Thanks for watching. Bye.